so hello everyone welcome to programming knowledge so in today's video we are going to see what is a snack bar basically a snack bar is a widget which is used to toast message into a flutter application so we can consider it like the toast message which we use in the android app development or in also ios so how we can do it so in the last video we have implemented this snack bar into our tab bar field but in this video we are going with the detail so let's start with this video so now the how much the app is ready let me just show you just go to the and like whenever i'm clicking on the add field you can see there is a button like which is basically a snack bar is coming so now what we are going to do so simply we are going to make a class like um, let me just remove this one and make it to white only or let's just use the gray color with the same save it go back to it and now you can see like the selected one like I at least I want the selected one to be white and similar with the icons also we are going to write the tap controller dot index equals to equals to zero if it is zero keep it white and if it is not keep it gray So let's just see will it work or not. So if it's not, it's not working. Like basically, there should be another logic for it. So let's just okay, let's just remove this this logic also. Later we will focus on this like in other classes. So let's right now let's focus on the scaffold. So in the scaffold field, what we are going to do in the scaffold field. So this is a basic scaffold. So how to display a scaffold? The very first thing, you can display it on the any tab of the screen. Basically, what I mean to say, on any on tab you can do, and you can like on the any action which is completed and which is like you want to give the alert, you can use the scaffold. So how to use it? So you need to write the scaffold message. Okay. And you have to add the dot and use the off dot context. Clear? You are clear. If you are clear, just add the dot notation and write the method called show snack bar. It's done. So let's just press enter. It's this much is done. So inside this, you have to pass a snack bar widget. So let's just remove this also for now and go to it. So this is done. So we have added the snack bar widget also. Now what? In this video, like uh, in this part, whatever we can, see, the very first attribute or parameter we have in the snack bar, that is content. So this content not only take, let like us first take one widget, and let me give it the um, let's just call add, or let's just call hello world so it is then just save it so whenever we are clicking on any of the field it will tell us hello world so now you can see it is same but now what if i want the text size should be increases so we can use the style just text style font size and we are going to use 20. so in the scaffold also we can increase the text size of the snack bar of a text into a snack bar. So now not only the text, just come over here, write the content and you can see that it takes the widget. So it is not compulsory that we have to use the, basically the, what I say. Like uh, not only the text, you can also use other fields. Let me just, I have, like I am doing going with this icons abc and the color should be white so let's save it and now you can see clicking on the add you can see the abc icon is over here 
So, similarly, like in this way only, you can show the icons also. So now, but what? There are so many fields, like you can use the both icons and labels together using the row. So, but I am going to use the text for now only. So, like mostly we are, we, we are using for it text only. So, there is a, another param attribute which is called duration. Now, it will take a duration widget. And over here, you can pass any field, whatever you want. Like if you pass the day, so after one day only, the snack bar will get off. So I don't want it for one day. I just want it for two seconds. So just save it and come back to it. And now whenever I'm clicking on add, so it will come and it will go in two seconds. So like it will, it was the, like the time was high. So let's just give one second. So and click on add. Now you can see the hello world snack bar gone more fastly than previous one. You can also go for 0 0.5 seconds so that, okay, maybe it's only take the int one. So it's only taking int. So we are going to use the milliseconds, which will be basically 500. Okay, so it gets very fast because I have used the micro instead of milli. So let's just go for milli. And now you can see it will be there for at least half an hour. So sorry for half a second. So it's that. So basically you have you can pass like you can give the duration for how many times it should be there. So you can also go like um you can also go for this duration dot zero. So basically it won't be there for any time. Like if you click on add, so it will come and just go. You can also pass, like if you want your user to read it. And so you can just give the day one, like the whole day time, or you can give the 30 seconds to read it. Like if it's the note is the bigger, so give it at least 30 seconds to read it. So whenever you are clicking on add, so it will come. But what if once the user read it, like if the user read the hello world and now he wants to cut this. So how we can do it? So just minimize it and you can this, there is one option, close icon color. No, but we don't want to leave like uh, there's an option called show close icon. So we are going to use this and just pass through. So now you can see if I have clicked on any tab and I have read the message. So we can just click on this to close it. So it will close it basically. So this is one thing and you can also give like in the previous, I have said like by basically I have done it. So you can do this also. Like you can add the close icon color also. So just go it and on tap of add, you can see it's in yellow, just cut it. So till here you are clear. So now we don't want the black color. So let's just we want the same color as a UI primary color. So I'm so we can use the background color attribute. You can write the colors dot red dot shade 400. And this should also be white. So is that now it will show into our app UI theme. So basically it's showing in the red color only. But what if we want this more dark? So like if it's we want it more dark, you can use this also. It's not an issue. Like yes, so this is more dark and this is showing. But now like we are not liking it in this way. Like it's stuck to the screen. It's not like going anywhere. So one more and one the one of the best thing in the scaffold is that we have different behaviors. Like you can go for the behavior. So this is the behavior part. In this, you can you have to pass the snack bar behavior dot. Now you have two things: fixed and floating. What is fixed? Fixed will fix is this one, like which was attached. Like I can show you once again. Like it is attached to the screen. You can see, but the float one, the floating one is the one of the best scaffold features. Now, if I am clicking on add, it won't be attached. It will come as a pop-up message. 
now you can see it also has an elevation it also works similar to it like if you click on the cross icon it will close it so now it is coming as a pop-up message so and also like uh, if you want to say it in this way you can do this like as i said it previously like you can use the icon also so let's just use the icon and i'm going to use the world icon and just keep the color the white color save it and come back to it after clicking on add now you can see the hello world and the icon is came so like let's we can fix the design as we want like just give the width of 10 dps and in the main axis size we can give it to mean and the cross axis alignment we can give the center just save it after saving it come to it and now you can see it is perfect so if it is not like you can give the size also like you can def design your own UI perfectly. So yeah, this is perfect. So now you can see how we have made our application. We can use green color also, whatever we like. So this is basically we are creating our own snack bar in a very best manner. So, like, you, if you want to see, you can also see, like, these were few attributes which you can use. And there are so many more attributes. Like, you can go for margin, you can go for shape. If you don't want any elevation, you can give that also. If you want button on the snack bar, like, on the snack action, you can use a snack bar action. And you can pass the label. So, let me just pass the label and password. This will say, click me. And on press of it. Let's just call another snack bar. Simple. It is simple. Just it won't take any actions. Okay. And it will give a red one. And it will be only for 2 seconds. It won't. It will go automatically. Just save it. And come back to it. And after clicking on add. Now you can see there is a click me little icon. Click on that. So basically we didn't get the like big. We didn't get our snack bar. Yeah, because the reason was. We only created the snack bar. But we didn't call it. So how to call it basically. So to call it we use the scaffold messenger to show the snack bar. So just use it again. It's done. Now we can see like after clicking add, you can click on click me. Then it will show another pop-up message. So basically it was like we can add the action field of the snack bar. And you can like similarly, you can also see another things, which is shape. You can give the shape border. So we can go with different like, we can go with the bevel rectangle borders. Just go back to it. And we can see it. So like, you have to, there are so many different, different, um, things like see this is the which this is the one which has the which doesn't have the basically like click me so in the previous one you there was a sharp corners but in this it wasn't and like you can also go with the another one which is um, rounded rectangle border and it will take a border radius just give a border radius circular and give it to 20 or more than 20 so that it will give the elevated one so just go on this one and in the add icon now you can see it is giving us the elevated one so similarly we can there is one more option called side in that we can give the border side and we can give the width 
as 2 and the color as red. So it is done like if now we click on add so you can see there is a border also. So like if we continue playing with the basically the attributes in the snack bar we can come across with a different and multiple options like multiple things so now one more thing i can show you that if it's in three seconds just come back to it on the add so it's not like it just faded away so there is an option also on visible like whenever the text what we call it a scaffold is visible so what we have to do we can change the animation of it we can increase the elevation we can give the margin padding width and we can also give the key to it like key is the universal like we can give it to any digit whichever you want so basically these are the few attributes in the snack bar so i hope you like this video in this we have discussed this snack bar in very detailed and we can all we have seen almost every widget like if you want you can see this also that if you are using the width you can give like i don't want the snack bar to come so oftenly just uh, we want the half of the size of the width the snack bar which should be so just come back to it and use the add now you can see it is only half of the bar so basically now you have seen like it is functioning perfectly just like our just like our toast messages this um just save it now coming back to the add icon now you can see it is giving us like the like a toast messages so that's it for today's video thank you